this outdoor coil, what's happening is we are uh, rejecting the heat from the refrigerant into the outdoor air because the air is passing through, even though it's hot outside, still the refrigerant flowing through the tubing is higher in temperature than the outdoor air. So we're actually getting rid of the heat in the refrigerant and putting it into the air, crossing the coil and blowing out the top. Over here, this is where we're absorbing heat from the air. Uh, so as the air is crossing the coil, we're reducing both the temperature and the humidity of the air because the refrigerant is both low in pressure and low in temperature. It's lower in temperature than the air crossing the coil. So humidity gets attracted onto that coil. It condenses and trickles out of the unit. The air is lowering in temperature and then the air is going up through the supply plenum and then traveling through the supply duct and getting distributed through the building over at its outer perimeter. So there should be supply registers along the outer perimeter of the building. And then the air gets pulled back into the system, uh, either at a central filter return air grill in the middle of the building or in small uh, grills in each of the rooms in the building. And basically it gathers and comes back through the return duct and comes back into the system again. So it's a, a full circulation of the air within the building. And so it's conditioning the air. And so that's why it's referred to as air conditioning. 